Sunday. So we have got the Compound Men's Open Team Bronze event with, with Italy and the Czech Republic. We've had a good morning. We've uh, just worked our way through these 10 matches and we've got two more to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got one bronze and one gold match of the Compound Men Open Team Division left. The coaches are coming out with equipment for the athletes. A very successful morning for Russia. They've taken gold and a bronze today. You know, China have done exceptionally well. They've taken gold, they've taken silver, they've taken another bronze. So they are shooting exceptionally well. A very successful morning for quite a few teams today. And coming onto the field is the team from the Czech Republic. Mr. Bartos, Mr. Kilch, Mr. Zelenka. Zelenka, sorry. I said in the very beginning, I apologize for any min mispronunciation of names. The Czech have done very well here to get into the bronze medal match. They originally ranked sixth, and Italy ranked first. So this will be a very interesting match to watch. As Italy are the higher ranked archers, they will get to decide if they shoot first or second. And it appears that they have chosen to shoot first. At least that's what the scoreboards on the field tell us. If you're seeing the timing clock at any point in the beginning of a match when we have the 10 second ready time showing there'll be a dot in the lower right hand corner and that indicates which team or which archer if we're shooting depending on whether we're shooting an individual match or a team match it tells you which lane we'll shoot there first. we go we can just see it on the screen now there is a slight little dot just under the 10 in the distance yeah. So in addition to some of the things that the judges are looking for, the line judge that's back here with the athletes, they are also, they keep track in their minds which team shoots first, which team shoots second. But that's also that they're supposed to look at the clock before we start the match to make sure that the electronics um, are in agreement with what the line judge believes the action and the rotation to be. It's important that, and, and if it's not, then we stop everything, we have a conversation, and uh, the line judge is involved, and, and everybody gets sorted out, and then we start, uh, we reset the, the timing clock if it needs to be reset, and then we go from there. Mm. The signal to begin the competition has been given, and the archer on the far left hand side of the target for Italy is going to start. Let's we'll see what their rotation is. Yeah. Lovely start there, absolute solid nice. shot to open. This is a, I think this is a team that's worked together on a number, for a number of mm. years. I know Simonelli has been around for uh, on the. I think it's Paris 17 scene. years. Oh my goodness! Mm. And their rotation is just going to go left, center, right. Oh, we apologise with the little glitches. Nine. Nine. Czech Republic also starting out on the left hand target as with their first shot. Archer in the center is going to take up the next rotation shot. So between them looking at the scores over the last few matches, they seem to be quite consistent. So this could be could be a good match.
Czech Republic is up by one. 20 28 to 27. Italy's 27. Italy, ten. Ten. Italy answers with a 10. <laughs> Nothing telling at this point. We just expect to see a good match based on their early round scores yeah. to get here. Nice shot, very nice. Nice solid shot from the uh, Italian archer. You had a nice strong bow arm on that one. You can hear the cheers from the Italian team, which are always behind them. You know, it's a very strong team, teammanship and team morale there. Nine. I don't think that was a standard <laughs> shot from Simonelli. He looked like his release was just a little bit different than forced, I've seen in a bit the past. Forced, mm -hmm. than, mm. Czech Republic up. Still look, uh, in a, a strong 56 from the Italian team. Czech Republic, mm. Czech Republic starts out with a 9. Second nine from the Czech Republic. 37 seconds still left on the clock. Loads of time, isn't it? Loads of time. You could shoot they're two or three hours in that time. They're kind to each other. And that is a seven. Seven. And not to worry about that because that's, that's still only a three points difference. So, and we've seen it so many times. Italy have 56, the Italians Nothing that can't three. be reversed. Nope. So the Czech Republic ranked sixth with a qualification of 2002. And then in the 1-8s, they came up against Malaysia and beat them 120 to 112. And then, sorry, 220 to 212. And then in the quarterfinals, they came up against Korea. And they, they had a tie and it went to a shoot-off, which was a shoot-off of, they both shot 28, but they were obviously closer to the middle to go through to the semi-finals where they came up against USA and sadly lost 218 to 229. So they're now into the bronze match against Italy. But consistent scores, 220s, 221, 218. Italy, similar. They had a bye in their first round in team round qualification. Mm. The quarterfinals, they beat, squeaked by Japan, 218 to 217. And then the semifinals lost to Turkey, 224 to 230. We've given, got the 10 second countdown and now the signal to begin the match. Czech Republic starting out. They are two points down from Italy. Brilliant, they had a line cut up, so they got their arrow upgraded to a 54 end. Wonderful. And a nice start there with the next. Lovely Ten. shot. 10-10. Ten, ten. Mm. They're coming back strong. Maybe got that first end jitters out of the yeah. way. They're settling in. Eight. Eight. Italy answers with an eight. You know, Czech are really showing how they've progressed from sixth place upwards. Yeah. Yeah. Shots like putting them in the ten consistently like they just were. Really shows why they're here in the finals. Nine. 
A nine from middle. Slightly high. Lovely shot from Simonelli there. Strong shot. Answers with a 10. Italy's up by one. Stark Republic up at full draw. Great shooting there from the Czech Republic. 10. Nice group on that target. Nine for the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. 25 <laughs> seconds left to go. It's still lots of time. Nine. And a nine to finish out the end for the Czech 56. Republic. Nicely done. That's great. There's two points up from their last end. So I think they're a bit more settled now. So nice strong shooting. Nine. I do just love how that bow just glistens in the sun. It's like fire. I that, absolutely that love it. That orange-colored bow. Mm. And it's got a bright orange string to match. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So that's a nine for Italy. So a nine here will put them back to tie, a 10 will put them in the lead. Seven seconds. A great shot from Simonelli. So they lead by one point, 111 to 110. Yeah, it's getting quite hot out there, so it's important for them to keep drinking, as you can see some earlier. Having a good gulp of water there. And it's very tight between both teams. Both teams are doing exceptionally well. Absolutely well done. <laughs> We've got one more match after this one this morning. We do, yeah. And that's us done. Good crowd in the stands. Not quite as vocal as we've heard with other matches, but we will we do have we do have the award ceremony. And then this afternoon, we will have the recurve matches. That's exciting. Recurve matches will be shot at 70 meters. We're currently at 50 meters at the compound. Mm. And it will be recurve, which is uh -huh. a completely different bow style. Scores have been confirmed by the target judge. Czech Republic trails by one point. The 10 second ready signal has been given and the Czech Republic will be shooting first. <laughs> so Czech Republic to shoot first, up at full draw. Now that looked like a very strong oh, shot, it's a nine. nine. Still a good shot. They've got a nice pattern on their target for the most part. Nine, nine from the Czech Republic. Last air, uh, last archer, second, third air archer coming up at full draw. Nice, nine. solid shot. Very good. Yes. 
That's a 27 end for them to start with. <laughs> Italy open with a nine. So we do have confirmation on the scoreboards that they shot 999, which is a 27. So we'll just hopefully the score on the screen will update for you as soon as possible. Nine ten nine from the Italian team. Start the third. Second half of the third end. Starting so it's uh, 137 to 139. Italy have a two-point lead at the moment. They must be having technical difficulties with be. that. Uh, between the scoring judge down there in the blinds and the system. Let's, let's try doing this. There we go. There We're all updated. Perfect. You'll have to excuse us. We just needed to refresh our screen. Nobody was having troubles but <laughs> us. <laughs> we just didn't get that automatic refresh. We thought you were missing information. Final arrow for the Czech Republic is seven. That's a uh, 53 for them. Mm -hmm. Nine for Italy. They are shooting strong today. They really are. You know, Italy have taken a bronze in the compound open mixed team. They have taken bronze in the compound open women's team. And now they're in the bronze match again. So it's potentially three bronzes for Italy today. And 10 so far for the second half of the third end for Italy. Simonelli's mm. up at full draw. Six seconds left to shoot. Four seconds. He lets there go. go. And the 10. No pressure for Simonelli just because there's four seconds left on the clock. So they have extended their lead from two to five points, 168 to 163, with six arrows left to shoot each per team. So, Jody, I think you alluded to the fact that you also shoot a compound. I do, yes. That's okay. <laughs> what, uh, what division do you shoot in? I am a compound open woman. Mm -hmm. So, I shoot an OK Archery Absolute Bow, which is pink, of course. <laughs> I have pink everything. I'm a bit upset. Even my fringe is pink in my hair. So, I'm a little bit obsessed with the colour pink. It's not my favourite colour, but it's the only colour you can get everything in. So, it's, it's up there. They're kind of hard to come by sometimes. <laughs> it's taken, and I'm not, not one to, you know, speak disparagingly of the archery manufacturers, but they've, they've some of them have been a little bit slow to come on board yeah. with the ladies okay. and, the, and, the, and the lady colors. Mm. I agree. I agree there. But yeah, I have, I have mine custom. <laughs> so I, um, with my sponsors, I, I asked them what color they did, and I told them, and then they did it for me. So it worked quite nicely. That was nice. Yeah. All right, it appears that the scores at the target have been confirmed. We are 168 for Italia, 163 for the Czech Republic, meaning the Czech Republic will start out this final end of this bronze medal match. Counting down the 10 second ready clock, and we're beginning the, the last end of this match. Still so again, a beautiful day. The weather, the wind reporting at zero uh, meters per second. And Czech Republic to shoot first. Nine. Nine. I start. Very close, just out there. <laughs> As they're both slightly high right. 
So that could be something to change in some position. Could be anything. Or it could be even that that wind's picked up just by one <laughs> meter per <One>. second. <laughs> Wonderful 10 there from Czech. Ten and a 9-9-10 nine, nine, to, to uh, round out their three arrows. And Italians are got the countdown clock going and up at full draw. Literally just out there. Still a very strong shot. And that's a left eight there. The anchor is back at full draw. When I say the anchor, I mean the anchor man on the team. And that's a nine. When team rounds first came into archery, and now you know how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was some discussion <laughs> about, uh, at least internally with, with the, the U.S. I, I've, I've been privileged to work with the U.S. national teams back in the past, and there was a discussion. Very strong shot there. Lovely 10. Nice job done, Czech Republic. Uh, as to whether there's any strategy, you know, do you want your best archer to start out to the end? Yes. And lead everybody off with a good shot and set, set the tone? Or do you want them to finish up? and be the anchor like on a, on a <laughs> relay team in, in athletics. Um, I was always the anchor. Always the anchor on my relay team at school. Yeah. How about team rounds for archery? Are you the anchor or the middle person that's not f flapped by anything when and can handle whatever they throw at you? I'll, I'll go, I'll go in, um, back to Czech a few weeks ago. In Czech, I was the last person to shoot. In Seven the and an eight in to finish up. The Excuse me, Jay. Sorry. In the three-person team. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I was the last person to shoot, and then, and we took silver, so we were very happy with that. And then, very nice shot to finish, very lovely shot there. And then in the mixed team with John Stubbs, he is a lot more experienced and confident archer than I am. So I would shoot first and he would be the anchor and shoot second. And we took bronze, so it was a very, very nice trip, very Wonderful. successful trip. Nice shot there. Ten and a nine for so Italy. A nine, a nine will win. So we just have a nice, strong finish there from Sim Simonelli. And he shoots a ten, seals it Wonderful. definitively. No question about it. Ah, uh, it was only a four. I apologise. Four to win the match and he shot a ten. Brilliant. So Italy have taken the bronze, so that is three bronzes today. They've shot exceptionally well. And they're all pressure matches, so they must be very, very impressed with themselves. All right, the judges made it official. The line judge, the target judge. I apologize, I keep misnaming that person <laughs> the target. The target judge has made it official, confirmed the scores, and indicated that Italy has indeed taken the bronze medal. Not to... A poor performance, but it's still a strong performance from the Czech Republic.